It's Charlie Gasparino on this so much more. Well, you've had a busy week of breaking news, but I did want to pick your brain a little bit on this. Um, you, you can make the argument we're very short-term oriented in the thinking uh, and the way we invest and the way companies plan because of that, uh, that it's worth studying. But what are you hearing? Or you could make the, the, uh, the, uh, the case that because we report quarterly, companies' feet are held to the fire. Very and they good have to point. perform. That's a and very they have good to perform point. not for them. I mean, I, I wish the president would talk to investors and ask the average investor, would you like to hear from the company once a year or twice a year or, you know, as much as possible? And I think one of the problems is that companies are, are you know, they don't give us enough information. And sometimes they give us bad information. Right. And I will tell the president, if he ever asked me, if you're going to lay out, like, all the problems that, you know, the securities markets face right now, Quarterly reporting, you know, and short-termism through the quarterly reporting, it does not make the top ten list. What would make the top ten list is whether companies and their CEOs are disclosing accurate information when they do disclose to 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 uh, to uh, investors. And and along the way, they're supposed to whether it's quarterly or annually or twice right. a year. They they have to brief shareholders on on plans either to issue new shares or to take a company. You want, you you know. want them and to tell and to right. and to properly disclose material events, which is why the Elon Musk saga is so important. I mean, re releasing quarterly earnings twice a year. If you want to have that debate, that's here. Making sure a CEO like Elon Musk is leveling in a truthful way and right. in, a, in a straight, honest way with investors is way up here. But would that, the Elon Musk situation, you read my mind because I was going to ask you, how would that have changed under a well, twice it, a year? Or a it, 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 would, it wouldn't. It right? wouldn't. But I'm saying if you're worried about stuff that, 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 that investors and, the, and how the economies and securities markets work, what is more worrisome for the securities markets? Is it quarterly earnings? Uh, the fact that you have to plan for a quarter, a conference call with analysts every quarter, right. and present your earnings, or is it the notion that those so CEOs like Indra Nui, like Elon Musk, have to provide accurate and timely information to investors, and particularly on the accurate part? And I think you know he would be well advised to direct his SEC to pay more attention to the impact of the Elon Musk situation than on quarterly earnings, which is an interesting philosophical debate. We can, listen, Jamie Dimon and I think Warren Buffett came out with some piece uh, in the last couple of days or maybe recently, I can't remember exactly when, about sh giving guidance, uh, short-term guidance on, right. on, on earnings. They don't like that, but they're not against quarterly earnings because quarterly earnings, if you think about it, companies have to fess up every quarter. They have to say, here's where we are, here's our plan. And they have to do it before analysts. And if you try to massage the numbers or play to that quarterly crowd, you're just as apt to do so right. and twice there, a year. And there are laws that if you right. do that, if you disclose the wrong stuff, you're supposed to get hammered like Elon, Elon Musk if he right. disclosed the wrong stuff. So that is more problematic to the markets. You think if he knew, and maybe he does, that um, this is how Germany does it. And, of course, he's had a tense relationship with Germany. That uh, uh, if he knew they did that, and that's the way they do things, that he would say automatically, no, forget it. Well, I hear a bunch of corporate executives, they gripe about this all the time because they might have to answer a question or two here and there. Right. Um, I will say, I don't know why we have to copy Germany's model. To not, I mean, listen, it's a nice country right. and they have great beer and sure, a good economy. Sure. Um, eat a lot of meat. Uh, eat a lot of meat. That's but, right. you know, I hate to break it to, to the president. You know, the president never ran a public company. This is the most dynamic, efficient market in the world. Now, there are things to make it a lot better. Um, you know, maybe some of the regulations, uh, maybe some of those, uh, those Dodd-Frank regulations and Sarbanes-Oxley regulations that, that call for compliance on smaller yeah. public companies. Get rid of that so companies actually want to go public in the U.S. corporate market. But it's a markets. good thing to bat around, maybe look at. Well, I, I don't think it's a good thing that, that our okay. president of the United States um, should So let me ask you real I mean, quick. He's got bigger things to worry oh, about. All right, fine. Jeez, someone's a hater here. Um, <laughs> I'm now, late for my lunch. I just oh, want yeah, to okay, know. fine, fine. So let me ask you, what's the latest now on Tesla? It seems like the wagons are circling. I read the Times interview with him. It yeah. sounds like he's got some issues. But I'm wondering now, forget about whether he can survive. I'm beginning to wonder whether the company can. Well, I don't want to go that far. I remember during the financial crisis we, when we'd opine about certain companies, they'd implode and make it worse. I, I, I would just say and they that, did implode. Yeah, they did. And, maybe, and they imploded. I, I, Not, here's where I'm going with that. Right. He's gone. Is the company still there? I don't know. I mean, 
if you talk to short sellers, which I have been, I, I've, I've, this is the story kind of came to me a little bit organically. I didn't like force myself in there, but you know, I broke a few things about the regulatory side of this story. Uh, but now I'm starting to reach out to short sellers just to get the. I'm going to get the long take. I'm going to get the short take. Right, the right. short take is simply this: this is a. This might be a nice car, but the real technology is the battery. The question is: is the battery worth three hundred? To four hundred dollars a share, or is it a fifty dollars stock with the battery? Was well, the car? The, the, the car is beautiful. It is, but it can be commoditized. You can make a lot of them. It's well, the battery. Well, so easy though. Others would have. They are. Well, but nothing like that. I think they are. Really? I think there's. I think you a don't lot even of, have a car. What do you? I do. You but do? I will never. I notice one thing. When I go to Whole Foods, the electric car uh, uh, parking lot is always empty. Right. Oh, that's <laughs> okay. Uh, so, so I'm just saying. Is the is the battery? worth interesting and then you have the financials he's got cash issues can he go back to the market by the way they i don't think people realize this he has about a billion dollars in a convertible bond 900 million in a convertible bond due in february i can't remember when they have to start paying if the stock trades above 360 you can pay in stock which is okay right if it trades below 360 you got to pay almost a billion dollars in cash do they have? I mean, he, he's got to do that. No, the company Tesla. Well, well, but that, and Tesla right. has a. He's twenty percent of the company. He yes, owns. 20%. But remember, Tesla's got some cash issues. They're not making money right now. Well, I'm just telling you. Then you went back to what I, my premise was that you dismissed and what? that that he is the company. He goes. It could be it endanger the company. He was the he was the reason why analysts gave a comp, the company a break on a lot of okay. issues, including guidance. That so what we were raising with Harvey Pitt this morning, the SEC, the former SEC guy, and you, and thank you for coming, yeah. Maria's fine show, was something on. Yeah, uh, they, they are going to treat this a little differently because of who he is, what he is. I tell you, they're going to. Yeah, see, it's interesting when you say this. So if the guy is so, if, if the guy. I'm not saying it's right, Charlie. I'm just yeah. saying you, you, eyes open here. Yeah, they have to, they have to watch because they can put the company out of business. Right. But they have to worry that the company. If they give the guy a break and the company does go out of business on its own, that they fostered it, it's, and it's, that others will see that you've given him a break. Yes. In that event. And we're, by the way, getting ahead of ourselves. Not a good precedent to set for other CEOs to let right. someone get away with. If he didn't have funding, find, uh, funding secured. Right. Remember, I'm bringing it private. If you read the time story, I, I mean, it just confirmed a lot. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't. Okay. Right? Or he didn't when he said it. He might now. Well, I uh, thank you for joining me this morning. Anytime. Thank you for joining me. I again. will only do that. Get up early for you or my wife. Well, uh, well and so you, I put you was, in the same category as my wife. Well, I, I like hearing that. Um, in a way, it makes me uncomfortable, but but not <laughs> so much so that I can't go to commercial. Okay. All right. Fun. Thank you very very much. I'm telling you, I, I, I'm biased here, but he's the best. He breaks news left and right and explains it in English. That's important. I think he's wrong on this. I think the two of these things are tied together. What's going to happen? I have no idea. That's oh, they are tied together. I, yeah. Well, See, I agree. Well, no. You kind of I just, I, no, I don't want to say it's going no, out of business. You you, like, you're trying to get me to say it's going out of business. Didn't ask response. That depends what the meaning of out of business is. I didn't have yeah. sex with that. Oh, woman. that fine. Look, all right. Here we go. <laughs>